Welcome back to another video. Uh, I've always been a fan of Scooby Doo as a kid, and uh, I kind of wanted to have this little plug and play device for a while now. It's the uh, Mystery Ink Scooby Doo plug and play. It uh, has the look of the uh, famous Mystery Ink van, and it's got a nice little joystick and. Uh, not sure if you can see it. It has Scooby Doo on the back. So it's kind of a hit and miss with these plug and play devices. Some of them are really fun, really cool. Some of them are uh, kind of basic, a little too simplistic. But uh, I really wanted to play this one for a while now, and I finally got it. So uh, let's boot it up. Jack Specific, once again, like most of these plug and play systems. 2005, okay. Oh yeah, we've got the Scooby Doo theme. That brings a lot of memories. Let's see, let's uh, press button. Doesn't matter which one. Well, we only got one button. So <laughs> okay. Scooby Doo in the Mystery of the Castle. Start easy game, hard game, high scores, options. Well, let's just uh, go with easy. It's the first time, right? Seems like we have uh, five games over here. Race to Fonte Castello, the River of Frights. Searching the castle, the mysterious doors, the dungeons of F Fonte Castello. Well, let's start with the, the first one. So there we have Shaggy and Scooby. They find a letter of some sort. They run to the van. Well, wonder why, what this leads to. Chapter 1, The Race of Fonte, Fonte Castello. Pick up team members in the mystery machine and drive to Fonte Castello. Avoid obstacles and frightening creatures on this wild journey. Use banana peels against chasing cars. Oh, I can't read that fast. Okay. C controls up, accelerate, down, brake, left, right, steering. Button is power up. Good luck. Well, thank you. Need my uh, sip of coffee in the morning. Okay, so the button is power up. And we need to find the Mr. Ink team members. And I assume we need to pick up those Scooby Snacks. Got it. Oh, trying to avoid, <laughs> trying to avoid cars here. Damn it! And there's a timer in the top of the screen, but it's counting up. So I assume it's just uh, counting how many time I spent on this road. I don't see any team members yet. Oh yeah, there we go. Scooby and uh, Shaggy. Level complete. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh. Big rock on the road. Got a banana peel. Oh yeah, I can throw them on the road. Uh, 
Oh, missed that Scooby snack. <laughs> wow. Not doing that great here. Oh, those white bones, they'll give you... Restore your health. Uh, or the health of the car, the van. Let's throw that banana peel over there. Whoa. So I assume we need to pick up uh, one of the other characters right now. Like Velma, or Daphne. It's Velma. Level complete. So, oh, skeletons. I wonder why I play this Scooby Doo thing on Christmas instead of uh, on Halloween. It's more suitable for that, but hey. Oh, wow. That seems like a oh, it's a turbo boost. Oh, Ooh, I'm taking a lot of damage to the van here. Gotta be careful. I kind of needed that. But we didn't pick anyone up, right? Oh well. It's getting darker and darker. Not sure what to do with this light power up. You know, you can put on your the lights of the van, but not sure what the purpose of that is. There's a ghost chasing me for some reason. Ah, it chases off the uh, ghost. That's what the uh, lights are for. Use our turbo. <laughs> Do you hear that uh, Scooby Doo laugh in the background? <laughs> Sounds like a horse, man. Okay, let's see. I think we're doing okay here, but then again, we're playing on easy, easy mode. Level complete. So far, I must say, the graphics of this plug-and-play TV game are pretty nice. You can see it's uh, not one of the earlier uh, plug-and-play uh, systems by Jack Specific. Because the graphics improved quite a bit over, over the years. That car behind me is quite annoying. But, oh, I didn't notice... 
I still had a banana peel. Let's use a rocket. Oh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, here we go again. Got three lives left. Should be able to do this on easy mode, right? I got this, I got this. <laughs> Trying to stay focused here. Kinda need that. This game is harder than I expected it to be. But I think we're gonna make it this time. Yeah, I needed a power up. No, 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 no. That sucks. I got so far this time, eh? Do we have to start all over? Or do we have like a checkpoint? I think we need to start all over. Either I'm really bad at this or uh, this is kind of hard. It's like when you get hit, you get stuck and you can't, it's really tough to move out of the way. It seems like my cat is joining me over here. Don't ruin it, kitty. Last try, man. Damn. I'm not sure we're gonna make it, man. Okay, so far so good. Ooh, don't jinx it. Okay. We're getting somewhere now. We've got an extra life. No, no, no. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, health restore. Man. This is making me nervous. Nerve-wracking. Okay. Got 
Gotta keep my eyes on the road. Avoid. No, no, no! Ah. Man, we got so far. Okay, one last attempt. Then we'll try one of the other games. Delicious. Okay. Yeah, Scooby sure loves his Scooby snacks. Okay, that's it. This is annoying. Third place. Well, we screwed up. Let's uh, try one of the other games. Oh yeah, there we have the Scooby-Doo team again. The River of Frights. Let's try that one. Chapter 2. It sounds like it's some kind of Frogger, Frogger type of game. Up, down, move, jump, left, right, jump, button, power up. Okay. Let's let's do this. Okay. Uh. <laughs> wow. Go up. So far, so good. Okay, I get it. Level complete. Well, didn't expect that so soon but hey no oh, I won yeah gotta watch out for the frogs I assume oh damn it okay okay we can stand on those rocks in the water Oh wait, there's an alligator. So far not that that bad. I think I like the first game better. This is just kinda Oh, where do I Can I stand on the alligator? Please? Yeah. I got a banana. Got a Scooby snack. Got an ice cream.
Here we go. Oh yeah, level complete. I have no idea how many levels we're gonna going to get here. Oh shit, I'm kind of stuck. One last attempt. Eh? Yeah, zero lives. Well, let's see how far we can get. patient here Yikes. killed by a frog This plug and play device clearly is much harder than most of, uh, of these little devices. I think uh, a lot of them are more aimed at younger, younger kids. This one is uh, kind of challenging, even on easy mode. So, probably can beat it on the first try, at least I can. So, searching the castle. Chapter 3. Search the castle for mysteries, then find a way out. When a creature is nearby, you can hide behind furniture. Okay, you gotta hide. And duck if... Okay. Down is duck, left right. Up is jump into Shaggy's arms. Button is hide. Okay. Let's try that. Come on, Scoob. Yeah, come on, Scoob. Okay, let's. Why is he? And he can hide? Hide furniture? Okay. You can't see me. There we go. Oh, the red kind of kills us. Okay. Level complete. Come on, Scoop. Well, let's go up then. Oh, too late. We already got hit by the red. Oh. Trying to avoid these reds here. Okay. How did I do that? When jumping into his arms. Okay. So we need to press up once there's a red. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Let's go up. Wait for the red to pass by. Nope. There we go. And go. Oh. Oh. 
climb ladder. Exit. Level three. Come on, Scoop. <laughs> that goes out. Oh yeah, I think we need to duck when there's like uh, bats, bats around. Oh shit. Yeah. So we gotta press up with rats and we gotta press down with... Uh oh, instant kill by the ghost. Zero lives left. Nothing to see there. Just the time. Okay, let's go down. Oh, waggy. Well, third level. Mysterious Doors, the fourth game. Chapter 4, The Mysterious Doors. Find a way through the doors and avoid the scary creatures. The skeleton key will lock any door for a while and the crystal ball will show you any door's destination. Use the minimap to help find the exit. That sounds like a maze to me. Left, right, up, enter door, use power up, okay. Good luck, well thank you. Maybe this is gonna be the first game on this plug and play that we're actually gonna beat. So up opens doors. And on the left we see... Okay, so you see the colors, the color doors and where it takes you. Green will take me... Where am I? Okay. I have to go to the other side. But I gotta avoid those enemies, so let's try the blue one. somewhere there we go exit not sure what the 
lamp does oh it shows a clue like the yellow one are blinking on the map um, let's try this one um, I think uh, let's see that's a hey, there's a, a key sure how to pick it up oh 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 the enemies can go through doors as well didn't know that okay so we need to take this yellow one for sure Nope, I didn't want it. It's like the up and right are very nearby on this, like very sensitive controls. Um, the only one, no, that's what I mean. I meant to go right, but it goes up instead, which kind of sucks. Let's take this one. And then that one then the yellow one and oh that sucks can go to the exit right now because that dude is over there and we can't <laughs> I thought we could hide in there Damn it. Well, not today. Which leaves us with one more game to try, which is the Dungeons of Fonte Costello. Chapter 5. Okay, I have no clue what to expect here, but uh, let's see, find out. You switch with the button. Okay. <laughs> it looks like a door. There's a gate. I think we need to find a key first. Nothing there. There's the key. There we go. Exit. Need to find two keys in this one. And there's the first one. Nope. Yep. We locked ourselves in. So, okay, so we when we die, we need to find the keys again. 
there's there it is. Oh, let's try and find it somewhere here. A dead end. Hmm. We could also use a button, but what the hell is that? I'm not sure how to and when and. We're running in the same trap again. Yeah, we still need to find that key. Gotta be around here somewhere. But where? Yeah, we can't open this. One. Oh, we can. Huh? I did find it. I didn't even notice. Well, that was stupid. Oh. We need to find two again. Wow. There's the exit on the right, but where are the keys? This level looks a lot bigger than the previous ones. Oh, game over. Well, I didn't finish even one mini game on this plug and play system by Jack Specific. So this might be a challenge for uh, for real. Uh, I have to practice this a bit, and maybe I'll do a uh, playthrough of it. Um, for now, these are the you get like an impression of the five mini games on this device. Um, some of them are pretty cool. I like the first one with uh, we have to drive the uh, the mystery ink van. Uh, see what else did we have searching the castle was okay uh, the mysterious doors was okay but it's more like uh, you gotta be lucky where the enemies are at that moment so it's more a game of luck than, uh, than anything else the dungeons of Fonte Castello is kind of neat as well um, yeah, overall this is uh, the graphics look great on a plug on this plug and play uh, device. I've seen far worse. So, and there's the Scooby Doo theme in the background, which is also pretty cool. Yes, overall I pretty uh, like this thing. Uh, 
Uh, and it offers a challenge, uh, unlike most uh, of these uh, plug-and-play games. So, yeah, I'll be playing this some bit more and try to do a, a playthrough of it. So, for now, thank you for watching and uh, have a Merry Christmas. See you guys later.